got Isis, um, Dylan, and Capo on one, standard tuning for guitar, because the chords are actually going to be B flat, A flat, and E flat. So we'll go on the piano after this. Really easy song, and for the most part, uh, the Little Black Book has it correct. I don't know why, for some reason, in the last verse they tell you to play an F and a C chord. It just just doesn't make sense. Um, so anyways, this kind of goes like this. All the way through. And um, for most parts, he's still doing the progression for the harmonica and violin part, although sometimes it's pretty quick, so I would just stay on that, that A chord there. Um, we'll talk about the harmonica right after this piano part real quick. This is going to be a short one, guys. I thought about this to uh, do a deep dive video and then, like, analyze the song a little bit because, you know, it tells a story, and um, it's a pretty cool song. And once again, here's the chord progression. We have capo one. Standard tuning. A to G, D back to A. All right, on the piano here, as we mentioned, there is the chords. It says B flat, A flat, and E flat all the way through, so we can keep that handy right there if we want. And just building a B-flat chord is just going to be B-flat, D, and F. A-flat is just going to be right there. A-flat, C, and um, E-flat. And then to the E-flat, E-flat, G, and B-flat. Tough to do with the camera in the hand, but that's pretty much it. Um, you know, obviously add the bass, bass notes uh, in the left hand if you want. Um, I guess you could do some chord inversions and you know not have the B flat be the bottom note. Maybe switch it up and I don't know. Maybe do something like the F. Something like that if you want to switch it up, but it's just those three chords over and over again. All right, so we're back here, and we're going to talk about the harmonica part. Now, the song is in B flat, so you would probably think it's in B flat. Um, although DylanChords.com says it's in E flat, and I just don't know. I can't decide, and I uh, don't want to spend too much time on it. So go ahead and try if you have both. Um... You know, E-flat comes up a little bit more often than I would think for harmonica stuff. And I kind of hear the highs of the E-flat, but I kind of like the mid to low on the B-flat harmonica. So, um, just got to play around with it. I think overall you would be probably better off with B-flat since it is in B-flat. I don't know. But, um, like I said, short video and just kind of ex experiment with it. But it's an easy song because it's only three chords, harmonica... Could be either or. Uh, I do recommend getting you know, the seven most common harmonica set the key. The keys, seven most common keys, which would be C, D, E, F, G, A, and B flat. E flat, you're probably not going to be in a set, I would imagine. I don't know. Go ahead and look. The one I got is a Johnson Blues King. Definitely not the one that he's using on the track, but you know, just got to fool around with it. I almost forgot I have a violin. I haven't played it in that long. That's how uh, that's how I forget about things. Uh, add some rosin to it. I'm surprised it pretty much stayed in tune. And for your enjoyment, I guess I'll uh, try to um, do something here. I'm just going to do the, the root notes of the chords here. So it would be uh, B flat, right? Uh, to A flat. To E flat. I still got it. Not really. 